What's going on, everybody? How you doing? In today's video, this is a donation request. This is for Christopher. This is Quicksilver Messenger Service. The song Pride of Man. This is from, it looks like it came out in 66. It looks like they were doing it in 66, but it came out on their first album, self-titled album, which came out in 1968. We're gonna check this out. If you're new here, please subscribe. Check out my videos, all kinds of videos, reaction videos, bass videos, music videos, check it out. If you like the channel, you wanna support the channel, you can hit super thanks underneath this video. You can hit me direct in the description. I got PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, Amazon wishlist, mailing address, and I do donation requests just like this one. So if there's something you want me to watch, listen to, talk about, hit me direct, PayPal, Cash App, Venmo in the notes section. Leave a link, leave a description. Let me know what you want the video to be on, and I'll make the video. You can also email me at jpanreadsemail at gmail.com. Thank you guys. Okay, so unlike contemporaries such as The Grateful Dead, Quicksilver's jams were highly planned as can be heard by comparing the studio versions of songs with those from bootleg live performances. Gary Duncan and John Cipollina displayed innovative dueling lead guitars which can be heard on extended jam tracks such as Gold and Silver and The Fool. Pride of Man, Dino Song and Gold and Silver had appeared regularly in the group's live set list as far back as 1966. This is the first track Pride of Man is the first track off of this album. We're gonna check it out, let's do it, bam.
Yeah, that's a cool song. Cool little song. Minor key song. I like it. It's interesting, these bands that you're throwing at me. That I feel like, I'm like, I feel like nobody knows. <laughs> nobody I know knows about them. I feel like nobody knows about them. But they have interesting stuff, cool stuff. They sound good. I mean, this is 68. They're not the Beatles. They're kind of like probably more popular just in the area that they were in, right? The Bay Area. I mean, how much success did they really get? They were around for 14 years during that like first core period, really. I guess, yeah, yeah, it's a, though not as commercially successful as Contemporary's Jefferson Airplane and the Grateful Dead, Quicksilver was integral to the beginnings of their genre. They had some singles. It's Fresh Air, right? We did that one. That charted. I guess they did all right. They did all right. It appears as though they did better than been doing Lucifer's Friend and that I'm not seeing any of those kinds of charting or any of that. <laughs> and nothing charting for them. I mean, this is more like poppy, accessible, shorter songs where what we've been hearing with with uh, Lucifer's Friend is like the last one we did at least is like the long jazz fusion opus kind of thing. That's not really... <laughs> That's not really, oh my god, this band has had a zillion members, that's right. All these bands with a zillion, gajillion members, jeez. Okay, yeah, they had, Happy Trails was uh, certified gold. That's cool. Yeah, they, they charted. They charted. That's cool. So these guys, I guess, did well. I've just never heard of them. Psychedelic Rock, Acid Rock. Of all the bands that came out of the San Francisco area during the late 60s, Quicksilver typified most of the style, attitude, and sound of that era. Sounds it. Yeah, I like it. I think it's cool. I, I think this stuff is good. If I ever find any of these kind of these bands in a record store, I'm definitely picking it out. Why and why wouldn't I? You know, like I'm like, where else am I where else am I gonna get it? You know, I haven't heard of these bands such as these two. Yeah, Pavlov's Dog was another one, Gypsy, where it's like I'm n i am I've never heard of them before. Just never heard of these bands before. But they got cool music. I'm sure there's a zillion bajillion bands I've never heard before. So anyways, this is cool. I like it. Nice. All right. Thank you very much. I'll catch you in the next video.